This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Randall takes it at the four. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. The 41. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. He's on the run. Brought down in the open field. That brings up second and one. He's at the 40, and they push him out right around the 34. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he's taken down at about the 29 yard line. From the 29 yard line, third down. Throws it in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the 12. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and 10. Ball on the 12. Bring him down at the three. That brings up second and one. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown. point an eight play 71 yard drive and a touchdown as a result and brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches opening up some big running lanes cronin has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off he's taken down with the 33 yard line Ostrander is a guy that knows that he's going to have to carry his load today as well as some of his teammates out there because this is a tough spot. He's been there before, but not everybody has been. I think patience will be the big word for him today. I, you know, as a, as a talented wide receiver, you're playing on the road. You want, a, you want the ball in your hand. You want a chance to make a difference in this game. And if they start off a little bit slow, he's got to be patient and let the game come to him and be a tremendous leader and eventually allow this offense to execute and be able to win this game in a tough environment. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Quick strike, and he drops it. 
Number one that was the intention to see that way. That, that brings us third and ten. ten. That's a great tackle at the 26. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Townsend is the putter. And he's tackled at the 43. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he's leveled at the 47. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. From the 47-yard line, first down. He's on the run, and they get the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Zero, zero. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Ball is loose. Fumble. He dives and he'll be marked down. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. One yard loss for the halfback. It's second and 12. Ball on the 41 yard line. Fires across the middle, and they make the stop at the 48. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's tackled at the 46. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 26-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. A two-yard run by the halfback. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. There are three quarters remaining. The Lobos with a touchdown lead. to the action now here in the second quarter. Tackle 
tackled after a decent run up the gut. They'll line it up again on third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Number two, two position to the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth down. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Randall fields it at the two. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. The strike complete. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First and ten, ball on the 36. Out to around the 25. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Tackle at the 24 yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. Complete. He's got room. Inside the 10. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. seven-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From the one-yard line, it's third down. And he's in there. Touchdown. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he converts the extra point. So a nine-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Cronin gets set to kick this one away. Bullock takes it from the six. 
He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 41. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Complete and he's hit hard. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's stopped behind the line. need to get it inside the 49. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. He punts. No, he won't. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the Booth Review is a great thing for college football. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 28. The Lobos are going to call their second timeout. From the 28-yard line, second down. Looks to the back and can't connect. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly. Short pass, middle of the field. And he hits him hard at the 29 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. We're about set to start things up again. Nice run there. Felder gets six yards on the play. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He wants it all. The defender had it and then dropped it. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 14-3, Lobo. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, Nate. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you they need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise at them and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 25. Got some open field. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. He's at the 40, at the 30, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First and 10 following that big run. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Ryan fakes a handoff. Safety scoops it out. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Three, 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 three. 
Got an opening. Back old after a decent pickup. That's a game of five on the ball. That brings them second and five. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Mike Green! He might have a chance. He gets to about the 31-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop at the 29. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Tight end, but it falls to the ground. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Around the 17 yard line. From the 17 yard line. First down. Bounces off a would be tackler. And they get nice yardage on that run. This is the 10th play of this drive. the PAT. So a 10-play, 79-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Cronin has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He'll take it from the two. Tackle at the 21-yard line. The Lobos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. Here's an opening. Pitches back. He makes his way out to about the 35. That's good for the number two yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. Here's the give. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it second and six. He 
gets it out to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Gets him a good seven yards. That'll bring up second. He's taken down at the 48 yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Cushion. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Ready, three, three, three. Zips it to the back, and he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. First down. From the 42 yard line. First down. Here we go. 180. 180. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 30. That's a great tackle at the 26 yard line. That makes it first and 10. This is the eighth play of this drive. Set. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle right around the 26 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. Flips it middle to the running back. Brought down at the 20 yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Nice run up the middle. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Defense coming to the line. They'd like to force another red zone fumble and keep points off the scoreboard here. Tackle made at the five. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown. job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. They don't get it. So a 12-play, 79-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at the 30, gains his way to the 29-yard line. 
First and ten. Ball on the 29. Just under three to go in regulation. Runs outside for a nice game. That'll make it second and seven. the 17-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17. Up the middle for a nice game. Foley gains about five yards on the run. The Falcons use their second timeout. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And he's taken down at about the three-yard line. They're at the three. Second down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Ostrander's impact on today's game, Kirk. We are expecting it to be on the positive side. Unfortunately for them, it ended up being a negative. Yeah, definitely a tough loss to swallow. Typically, you'd like to see some other players step up and kind of help the cause when your great uh, star player doesn't have a, an outstanding game. But in this case, I don't know if it would have made much of a difference. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.